Our ultimate moustache wax is base formula based on an old school Viking formula, which actually had blood and guts in it. Um, so to comply with today's standards, we had to remove them from it to make it cosmetic grade. Um, what, what we wanted with this product was something that was going to train your moustache out of your face um, and look, look natural without having it um, look too waxy. So if you had a full beard, it would make your moustache more pronounced. If you wanted to build it up and make it really twirly, you could do that as well. Um, we call it a soft, medium hold, and that is because we didn't want anything crazy. 100% natural again. Um, it's gonna be very hard to touch to start off with, and a lot of customers who are using a mo wax for the first time, they'll they had the question, oh, I don't know how to use this, it's super hard because they're used to like soft gels, etc. So I'm going to run through how to do it in a second. Um, also, coming down to the container, glass jar. So this is nice and tiny for those moustache aficionados out there. You can literally have it in your pocket or your breast pocket of your jacket. And the glass is actually um, designed to conduct heat and make it more malleable in those cold conditions as well. Um, so that's why I put the glass jar versus tin or plastic. And it looks nicer, it feels good. Um, now the scent on this, uh, we've gone old school again. So uh, um, Bay West Indies clove and cinnamon. You get a touch of honey from the cosmetic grade beeswax. Also it contains a bit of lanolin, so great for moisturising and nourishing your hair as well. Um, and it's got what we call it a ba uh, bay rum Caribbean smell, which is like, oh, I forgot how good this smells. <laughs> Ooh, that smell. Oh wow. Yeah. It's like spicy, yeah. Almost. Yeah. So now to get it out of the jar, um, for those of you who have got giant nubbly fingers, you barely will get your finger in there. So the best way to do it is to either put your thumb and scrape your nail across so it doesn't go down your fingernails or your forefinger. So I usually do that. And so today we're gonna apply it to my moustache. I usually run a mustard beard, so a little bit thicker. Um, I just trimmed my beard off a little while ago. But application wise, as you can see, it's quite white here. And you're gonna be putting it into your fingers and your forefingers and rubbing it together until it forms almost like a soft, white, clear paste. You can see it's getting clearer and clearer. And then when it's almost clear, you're ready to apply. So you're getting that awesome friction and then applying wise, you're applying the center of your moustache. Wipe down, you can see straight away it lifts that moustache out. Getting really good coverage by pulling it through and literally styling how you want. So uh, I can make it more pronounced with these or I can I usually wear my moustache full. And you can go through with a comb and finish off. Um, those of you with really unruly beards, you can almost use it like an extra strength beard balm. Um, and tame down those those slight um, styles. The um, aromatics from those essential oils are really amazing as well because not only are they antibacterial um, and they they actually smell amazing and they kind of give you a per cup um, on that. So old time moustache wax. Whoops. <laughs> uh, <laughs> smells great. Is there to style your moustache out of your mouth or help train it in that month of health if your moustache is not long enough? Um, or make a more pronounced um, good looking tidy moustache. And again, you can use a real extra strength beard balm and give it a line. The best thing about it is 100% natural, so if you're getting your mouth, it doesn't taste like shit too. Anyway, that's our old time moustache wax. If you want to purchase this or any of our other products, jump online to thebeardofchap.com or hit up any of our retailers. See you soon.